Hi everyone! It's time to do my favorite kind of video, a monthly review of my finished and started works. September was quite happy for me for coloring. I wasn't a little bit upset with my YouTube channel statistics, but at least coloring was very easy and very happy. I finished a lot of projects which I started in August. One of them is my picture, which I started exactly on my birthday. In August I colored background, but I wasn't quite sure how to proceed, how to do colorful flowers and how to not lose my bunnies or rabbits on the colorful background. But in September I just sit it and Quite quickly I finished the whole page. I am very happy with my idea that one of the small bunnies is similar to the father bunny and the rest of the children are similar to the mom. I think that it looks cute and after I had this idea everything else was quite easy. I am quite satisfied with the final result. And I was so happy that I managed to finish it, that I immediately started the next project from the same book. And here I mostly wanted to play with my color of fine tech pearl watercolors. Dark background and these fireworks. I immediately realized that it will be a perfect chance to use my pearl watercolors. For the Eastern Palace I started to use polychromos, but I can't say that I was totally happy how they behaved. I definitely prefer my Prisma colors for this page, so I think that for the rest of the picture I simply will switch to Prisma colors. I promise to finish this picture in a couple of days and I will post the rest of the videos. Another difficult project which I started in August and finished only in September was the spread from Daria Song Night Voyage. Usually I prefer to color this book in order, but I really wanted to try doing this background with neo colors, so I switched to this spread. Recently I posted my video with advice to beginners and there I mentioned that a good trick is to use for the main characters colors which are unique and won't be repeated on any other elements on the page. And here I used this trick. You can see that blue-violet color for the girl really helped me not to lose her on such a colorful background and I also like contrast between warm yellow-orange background and cold gray color of the tubes. I am glad that Neo Colors helped me to create this fantasy background. Besides of this background, this spread wasn't quite inspiring for me and I am glad that I finished it. Again, page which I started in August and finished in September, but here I enjoyed each and every moment. And definitely, this is one of my favorite finished pictures. First of all, I enjoy working on the paper in the Blue Angel books. And then I am really happy that pictures of Jasmine Beckett Griffith helped me to step out of my comfort zone, to try doing dark skin, to do unusual hair color like I used blue here. Also I love violet colors, but here I mixed it with pale beige and again it wasn't quite usual for me. So here I have a lot of possibilities to try to test new color combos, to work with slightly darker or calmer colors which I usually use 
and that's why I really, really love my Paisley. And I also love another project which I finished in this book. It's great that a part of the big pictures here we have smaller ones. I finished this oak and meat very quickly. And I used very traditional colors, warm green, warm yellows, and a little bit of sparkling gold for her for decorating her hair. Very quick and very relaxing project. I am also glad that on this picture I did not very detailed background with only shapes of trees and the girl on the forefront is very detailed and it helped me to divide forefront from the background. Next page I also started in August. In August I colored the whole background, the whole tree trunk and all branches and started to color flowers. I did it using polychromos and my hand really hurted. I had to make a break and maybe it was the first time when I really, really needed to give rest to my hand. Here I am not completely happy with my color choice for the birds. I wanted to make them in two different ways and indeed here I used two color combos for the birds, but they are quite similar to one another and maybe I needed to do them more different. What I do like is the loot. I also had a lot of doubts regarding colors of the fairies. We even have a family council here. And in the end I am glad that I did them in this blue violet with a little bit of pink colors. Again the contrast between background color and color of the fairies really helped them not to be lost and to be a central part focal point of the whole very detailed picture. It's great that I finally started my villain son, so I am very very happy. When I finished a spread from Night Voyage, this orange background, I still was a little bit in love with orange colors and probably that's why I also did orange background for the page from Selena Fennec book. Here I didn't have any problems with coloring at all and that's because drawings by Selina are very easy to color. Here I love how yellow and orange look together with warm olive green colors and I am glad that I managed to show all folds on the boy's trousers and on the white shirt. But it was quite easy coloring also without any problems. Now when I finished two pictures from this book, I definitely think that Prisma colors behave slightly better on this paper and I will be proceeding in this book with Prismas. I finally get back to my gnomes in neighborhood, but here I had a couple of difficulties. I started with these fantasy trees and I was quite happy with the sky and color of the trees, but then I made a mistake when I selected colors for the small houses and in the end it was quite hard for me to select colors for the lady gnome. She was almost invisible on the shops, on the background, so I think that I didn't need to make houses so bright and so colorful. Happy thing for me during this coloring was that I discovered that my different color soft behaved quite nice in on this paper, so I plan to use them more at least for doing backgrounds in Dennis Clad books. When I wanted to have a very relaxing coloring very easy. I always go and grab the book by Meredith Dillman. 
Here I did a very simple plain background with acrylic paint. Also I used acrylic gouache to cover her wings. I wanted to get rid of the black lines. And then I also covered them with perlescent watercolors, so wings are shiny and she also has some golden sparkles around her. I tried to stay in limited color of palette. And probably the most fun part was to color her dress, to color all folds. I really enjoyed it. Definitely Meredith Dillman is one of my top favorite artists. In August I hadn't touched books by Hannah Carlson at all, so in September I definitely wanted to color something and I did one page in jewelry box. Here I colored almost everything with polychromos and I even managed to do background with polychromos. I think that they behaved on this paper really well. I used only a couple of prisma colors together with polychromoses. And the final touch was my white paint and a little bit of gold. It's great that Hannah Carlson loved to draw peacocks. I really love to color them, so I really want to color also the name page from this book with another two cute peacocks. I just have to invent something new for them, because I already did two pictures with peacock in Hannah's books. I planned to color another portrait in jewelry box. But something went not very according to the plans, and in the end, I selected a portrait from Magical Tone, where I wanted to practice coloring darker skin tones. I spent considerable amount of time coloring her face. I can't say that I'm totally happy. I'm glad with my color choice for her skin tone, but. I'm not very happy with all the shading, so there is a lot of practice which I need to do until my portraits will look really, really good. But while I was coloring this picture, I realized that this image reminds me about one of my favorite paintings by Gustav Klimt, and it's a medicine. And I tried to color the rest of the page, her dress, her jewelry, according to this painting. I tried to copy basic colors and to maintain the whole spirit of the Klim's painting. For the portrait, I, for the snake and for jewelry, I used prisma colors. For the background, I used neo colors, so I practiced a little bit how to do flame with neo color crayons. For her hair, I used black acrylic and thin pencils, so again, it's my favorite technique. A lot of different mediums mixed together. Probably the snake is my favorite part here, even if I'm not a huge fan of snakes, not at all. I can't say that I am completely satisfied with this page, but at least I managed to add another finished picture to my magical dawn. And I hope to do another, at least one another portrait in Hannah's book during October. Also, I realized that I want to switch from pencils to some other mediums and that's why for this drummer raccoons I decided to cover the whole background with watercolors and for the leaves and raccoons I used prisma colors then. For the leaves I used the same color combos which I shown in separate video about my favorite prisma color combos for the fall leaves. 
so I tested them on this page. I can say that I am totally happy with this watercolor background, but the final look of the page is not bad. And in Kanoko Yaguza books we have so many cute fall pictures that I immediately started another one. This is my work in progress. Another my work in progress. Again, a huge one is from Zemla Snova. I'm so happy with the beginning of this page and I hope that final result also will be interesting. During the next couple of days I also will finish this one, picture where I tried to explain some of my color planning, some of my planning about contrast, light parts, dark parts, about repeated colors, so it will be another project for beginners. I am very happy that September was a very productive month for coloring. I didn't have any problems with color selection. I finished page and I immediately wanted to start another one. I was quite disappointed in statistic in amount of views on my YouTube channel. So not every day I wanted to do videos, but every day I wanted to color. Usually I don't do plans for the next month, because usually I have 50% of planned works and 50% something which I decided on the spot and I just grab coloring book. But of course in October I will be coloring everything related to Halloween, so witches, magic, magical creatures. I selected a couple of books which I can use for this sem. I also hope that from book repository will arrive my coloring book about fall landscapes. So it will be another great book to color together with you in October. And I hope to color in the Briar and book by Anne Stokes, which I hadn't touched for a long time. But we will see, it will depend from my imagination and from my free time. I hope that you also had a wonderful creative September and that in October we will color a lot of cute and scary Halloween pictures. So I hope to see you in my next videos and thank you for watching.